Okay, so what we got here, guys, is uh, we're just kind of showing you the plan of action whenever we see uh, oak wilt. This is what we do, okay? So here is a tree that late summer started to show uh, symptoms of necrosis on the leaves, pretty much meaning brown streaks headed outward on the leaves. Um, so we caught it early on before it even was able to really onset with the tree and through its roots. And here is the remaining stand. And Jimmy, if you'll come over here and then show them this stand, um, kind of where it's located in comparison to the tree that we saw the symptomatics uh, going on. So pretty close, if you ask me. So what we're gonna do here, what we've already done, is uh, treat these trees. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys a little closer detail of how we do it uh, here in just a second. So this right here is the application process. This is Tebuject right here, 16, 16% Tebu, what is the, the exact ingredient? Tebuconazole. And uh, so we're gonna go ahead and apply this. The application, the tip has to be upward, has to be in here. And then as I hammer this in here, it's gonna go ahead and puncture this to where it has access to the liquid. I've went ahead and drilled the hole at an angle like this. Use my makeshift hammer here to seat that perfectly, and then I'm going to go ahead and put the PSI on it. It's just a couple PSI once you click this in. You hear it click now. If you'll get up close and show how the chemical has made its way into the straw, mm, no chemicals in the straw here. Yep, so here's our second applicator for this tree and drilling this, in at a 45 degree angle this one doesn't have any flare roots because it is buried a bit deep but we're not gonna go trying to expose them we're just gonna go ahead and shoot where we know there's probably a flare below um hammer please all righty <sighs> just enough to seed it then put the pressure on it a couple taps to make sure that that straw is filled and that is the perfect application